points. Um, but now you're definitely going to outnumber them to the point of attack. Again, read the will here. He steps up. Quarterback's going to pull it, get out on the edge, and you have all these options. If the if the will flexes out, you're going to get that cutback right down the hash mark. Now we'll kind of get into, you know, so there's some RPO options off it, the jet sweep option. You know, now what, what can we do down the field? So pairing your, your run game with your play action and bootleg is obviously a huge part of about any offense. Uh, I'm a huge believer that the future of football is, you know, your run game is protected by your RPOs. Your RPOs is protected by play action. Um, I think if you build your offense that way, um, you can have fewer concepts with, with simple um, options to, to attack off that. This is a great one, again, off that exact same action we saw to the boundary. One thing is the, the slot here will travel a little further on the jet um, before, uh, you know, before the ball snap, crossing the face of the center. You're going to get the hard play action. Quarterback's going to pull it. Okay, and again, you're looking to take uh, your first shot here to this deep post. If they rotate with the jet action, one-on-one -on, -one on the post. If they don't, you're going to suck the linebackers up and work your way back across the field. Um, seven man pro should be really solid. Um, and, and this is a really, really tough one to defend defensively, because if you do rotate correctly, you're going to give up the one-on-one -on -one to the field. If you don't want to give up the one-on-one -on -one to the field, you're going to take the free safety off the board to help cover that post. It's really hard to cover this over to the dig. Um, you know, and I've seen uh, different teams, including Western hit this as well. Um, everyone, you know, all the action coming this way. Um, everyone's stepping up to defend the run, you know, and they're able to rally and get these covered, but you forget about the jet guy on the opposite side of the field on the wheel. So um, this was, you know, one of the main like play action concepts that, that I, I really thought um, was worth showing. Uh, and I got a clip of it here. This one in, in full, full uh, disclosure, this one's not caught. It's just missed, but I thought it really uh, emphasized the concept. Um, and was a good one to show. So there's our jet action, right? That looks exactly like almost all the clips we've seen so far. Okay, you're going to see the linebackers get sucked up here to play the run. All right. And now the ball's getting pulled, solid protection up front. Okay. And here's our one on one we're going to take to the field. If this free safety wants to help on the post, you're going to have this deep over wide open. If this free safety comes down for the deep over, like we see here, you're going to uncork the post route to the field. Right. And again, just miss. And I, and I don't show that, you know, I show that because of how good of a concept it is. Um, you know, that, that I'm sure there's 10 other clips that, you know, I wasn't able to find um, with the film that I have that they hit on last year and in the last five, 10 years. Um, but this is a super tough spot um, for this field corner. You could also go double move off this if you wanted um, if you wanted to shorten the throw, the double move is not a bad way to go. So you could go like dig and go, stop and go. You could kind of like slow play it and go. Um, lots of options there if you want to shorten the throw. But I thought this clip really showed again, okay, if you're gonna if you're gonna have help on the backside dig and you're gonna have help on the over route, right? If this free safety is off to help on the post, this over route might, might be a catch and run touchdown. Um, I really, really like this concept. And again, see how much room you have to throw off the hard play action. It's so hard to get into a pass rush. And again, you see the wheel developing on the backside here as well. Tough to cover. So uh, third con or second concept here uh, would be to bootleg off of it. Um, this is something, again, I think you see a ton uh, on Sundays in the NFL. Um, you could do this from under center. Um, you know, it's good from the gun, from the pistol. That, that's the other thing is you can run split zone out of the pistol as well if you don't want to read it. Um, and, and it's great downhill run, great to get your back shoulder square. Um, but here, again, we're going to have that jet action. Okay. This is a great compliment if the end isn't getting up the field. So, again, if we want to encourage the end to get up the field, Let's run the bootleg, force them to, to be responsible in their C-gap. Um, but we're going to have the H cross the set after the snap, um, the, the W here before the snap. All right, the W even could get almost all the way out here on the jet action. Um, you could have them get into the flat and wheel uh, or run this kind of rail route. Um, either way, you know, you just want that guy to, to clear through the flat and get vertical. The Z here is going to run that hard post, try and pull the field corner off the board. Um, clear him out. 
and then you have your your deep out, your drag, and your potential check down to the tight end. Um, you know, this has become super common. You have your easy release here to the tight end if you get any pressure. Um, and the tight end can block the end if the end tries to get up the field. So that gives you that protection on the backside of the bootleg. It's not a pure naked. Um, you could run it with a pure naked and just slip the H into the flat. Um, and then if you slip the H into the flat, if that end gets up field, you should be able to check it down to him there. Um, but if, if you know, you kind of show it this end, chatter your feet, the end goes inside. Again, that's why you're running this play. The end's not getting up the field. Um, you know, you're able to boot out of that and now take this vertical shot one, two to the out for the first down, three to the drag for the first down and four to the check down underneath to get you a positive play. Again, the quarterback uh, is also an option to run here. One of the things I like is, again, this W getting vertical, you'd be surprised how many times that player gets dropped. And if not, you're probably going to take the two field side DBs, the half in the corner, out of this concept with having him run the vertical off the wheel. Um, and, and it just becomes really hard, you know, as you flood that zone to handle this out to the flat and having the comeback in there as well. Um, you know, you could run this, you could settle off this, so you could boot settle and, and look to throw some of the double post concepts we talked about in our vertical passing game clinic. Um, if you want to check that one out for other ideas on the backside of this bootleg, um, you know, there, there's lots there. You could stop and go, uh, come back on the outside. You could run traditional flood or sail. Um, there's a ton of different concepts there, but, you know, getting that back in the flat, um, or getting that jet player from the flat through the vertical is really hard for defenses to defend. Agreed coach. This play you have up now is more effective than installing a counter run, uh, let uh, less expensive install too. you know, really, 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 really agree with that. Um, this having the, whether it's bootleg or, or the previous concept, uh, sometimes it's hard on the chat. I'm not exactly sure when questions come in there, coach, but this is, you know, like coach says, instead of having a counter run, let's have our counters get thrown down the field, right? Let's have our, our, our constraint plays, um, plays that we put into our offense to make the defense pay, hurt them down the field. Um, I totally agree. I think that that's, you know, one of the reasons why I'm so fond of, of this style of offense. Um, I, I totally agree. I think it's going to help uh, as, a, as, a, as a play caller. You know, when you are right, when you get that team over adjusted, now let's throw the ball down the field uh, for big plays instead of, you know, a well executed counter could go for 12 or 15. You know, this well executed um, vertical shot, even if you don't get the, you know, exactly what uh, you want here, uh, even if you don't get that post route, now you're throwing the ball to one of these two deep digs. That's going to be 15 minimum. You know, one broken tackle, it could be 50. Uh, that's a great point, coach. Appreciate all the conversation there. Absolutely. You better get good pro a hundred percent. I think one of the strengths of this is it's hard to pass rush. Um, if you're running the ball effectively, this defensive end on the backside should be trying as hard as they can to knock it up the field. And I think that that um, is crucial. Um, if, if that uh, defensive end is getting up the field, you're probably having success with the run. Um, I know like just coaching against Western, that's one of the huge challenges of playing them is getting a pass rush off the hard play action is really hard. Um, absolutely though. You do need the pro, at least you're getting seven here. I would have the back, um, look to help out on the backside here, have the will to chipping this defensive end. Um, absolutely agreed on the counter comment on the bootleg coach. Sorry. I wasn't sure if you meant the, the bootleg or the, the vertical concept there, but totally agree. Um, more effective than counter and cheaper on the install. And again, if you have an athletic quarterback, um, or if you're trying to throw the ball vertically with, with a quarterback that maybe doesn't have tremendous arm talent, um, but is a good athlete, what a great way to do it. Shorten the throws, um, get out there now to this field hash mark to make that throw off the bootleg, super challenging to defend. Um, this last one, I didn't have drawn up cause I actually found it today. Um, last minute as I was looking for a few more clips, um, when coach talks about, you know, doing some of these other concepts instead of counter, this would be one that would fall into that category. And this is actually a screen off of the jet action split zone. Okay. So you're going to run, uh, again, this looks exactly like the jet action split zone. You got the crack look coming here on the backside. You got the jet and the split zone coming from the front side. Again, forcing the defense to adjust string over into the boundary. And now 
Quarterback pulls it. Okay, it's going to be the slip to this side, and you get the throwback screen here to the middle of the field. Now, again, this one's maybe not the easiest one to execute, um, but as something to have in the chamber, I saw it, and I thought it would be a good one to throw in there. So I'm just going to play that through from the start. Again, this isn't on, on the, you know, the degree of difficulty. There's a lot going on here, okay, but you're able to get your running back in this much space can definitely be an effective play. Right, I think they have a second and 10 and, and they end up picking up 20 on that screen. So a couple of key points I just want to uh, outline, um, you know, because there's a, 